The Honda Civic is the best-selling small car in the land. It's popular with everyone from economy-minded commuters to growing families to the new generation of hot rodders. And Honda designers expect this all-new 2006 Civic to easily maintain and even expand that popularity. Let's see if we agree. Year after year, the front drive Honda Civic is America's best-selling compact car. Reasons include price, performance, interior room, quality, having both sedan and coupe body styles, and offering advanced powertrains, including natural gas and hybrid. For 2006, Honda continues the something for everyone approach with an all new Civic lineup. Volume leader will continue to be the Civic four-door sedan. Wheelbase has been stretched 3.2 inches to 106.3. That's just shy of the midsize Accord. The longer, broader, and stiffer chassis and wrapped in almost futuristic sheet metal. The interior is also totally redesigned with a unique split-level analog digital gauge cluster that would look right at home in an experimental aircraft. Familiar trim grades are Entry DX, Popular LX, and Fully Loaded EX. All but the DX include cruise control, AC, power windows, and CD MP3 audio systems satellite radio and navigation are options. While looking bigger inside and feeling more spacious, we were surprised to find that overall interior space is actually down slightly for 2006. In fact, we're not sure where the extra wheelbase went since front legroom is unchanged and in the back it drops an inch and a half. The rear seat does fold, but the cushions are split 60-40 only on the EX. Trunk space is also down by 9 tenths of a cubic foot to a modest total of 12 even. All Civic sedans ride on a McPherson strut front and double wishbone rear suspension. Most four-door Civics use a larger 1.8 liter single cam four-cylinder with variable valve timing. It makes 140 horsepower up 25 from last year's 1.7 and 128 pound-feet of torque. The 1.8 with the standard five-speed manual has an EPA fuel economy rating of 30 city and 38 highway. We extracted a fine 34 miles per gallon in mixed driving. The optional five-speed automatic is actually rated a bit higher. Have a higher quest for miles per gallon? Then try the new Civic Hybrid. It mates a 1.3 liter four with Honda's latest integrated motor assist for a total output of 110 horsepower and 123 pound-feet of torque. Now capable of running at low speeds on electric power alone, EPA estimates the hybrid with its CVT tranny are 50 city and 50 highway, which should make it very popular in the year of $3 per gallon gasoline. Get behind the wheel and you find a much more solid and sophisticated Civic sedan. The ride is almost luxury car smooth, though a soft front end does produce some push and roll in tight corners. The 1.8 liter engine pulls strongly, especially from 3000 RPM, and the five-speed manual shift effort is light, if a little notchy. Overall, a much more refined, more advanced, and more powerful Civic. It's now more than just compact Accord but still with compact prices, ranging from $15,110 for the DX manual to $21,110 for an EX automatic with navigation. Hybrid prices start at $22,400. The sportier half of the new Civic lineup is various grades of two-door coupes, including the high-performance SI. All coupes ride on their own 104.3-inch wheelbase, up 1.2 inches from last year. Coupe styling is decidedly racier than the four-door and makes the appealing Accord Coupe look positively tame. The interior sports the same two-tiered dash as the sedan, but features spiffier trim. As expected, the rear seat is child small, while cargo space is 11.5 cubic feet, almost the same as the sedan. Power comes from either the four-door's 140-horse 1.8-liter or, in high-performance SI trim, a more-than-willing 2-liter dual-cam variable timing 4 with 197 horsepower and 139 pound-feet of torque. The SI drivetrain also dons a new 6-speed manual gearbox with a limited-slip differential. 
and it yields EPA mileage estimates of 22 city, 31 highway. We saw 26 miles per gallon in our mixed and spirited test loop. SI track testing produced a zero to 60 run of 7.2 seconds with a quarter mile clocked in 15.6 seconds at 93 miles per hour. It revs quicker, pulls harder, and sounds better. Add in the firmer clutch and sharper gearbox, and this is one snappy SI. The same goes for handling, as the SI, with its standard 17-inch rims, precisely carves up corners with excellent balance. Even before tuners get their hands on it, the SI has best-in-class handling. If you would like to get your hands on a Civic Coupe, prices start at $14,910 for the basic DX. SI prices are not yet released, but expect them to start around $20,000. Interior measurements aside, the 8th generation 2006 Honda Civic lineup has the variety, style, performance, economy, and prices to easily maintain and, yes, expand its popularity to new heights. Well, I hope you'll join us next week for more Motor Week as we drive down memory lane with a look back at 25 years of Motor Week. We'll remember classic cars and special people, plus introduce you to our folks on both sides of the camera. You won't want to miss it. I'm John Davis. We'll see you then. To learn more about Motor Week, television's original automotive magazine, visit pbs.org. To order a DVD or VHS copy of this program, call 1-800-873-6154. MotorWeek has been brought to you by the Stanley Works, makers of MaxLife 369 tripod illumination tools. Stanley is proud to support public television. Stanley makes something great. Information available at www.stanleyworks.com. And by Dunlop Tires, presenter of the Dunlop Drivers Cup and international competition racing to America, testing the skills of non-professional enthusiasts off-road and on the track. Information at DunlopTires.com. And by Cars.com. Let's say you're looking for a car. Cars.com can help research, locate, even contact the dealer. Cars.com. Find the right car for you. This program was produced by Maryland Public Television, which is solely responsible for its content.